hey, I've got this uh, pet safe, uh, invisible fence, and the uh, batteries are always dying. And I want to try to open this up and see if I can figure out how to uh, put in a different kind of battery that's not so expensive. So I'm going to get started on that right now. So the batteries are uh, inside this uh, housing here. And I'm thinking that maybe I can cut these up, cut this open and uh, get inside there and figure out how to replace the battery. Not sure. But uh, this one's dead, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it a shot. Just kind of carefully looking it over. It looks like it has a plastic piece that's been glued to it here. I don't think I want to disturb that because uh, right here is where the, it cams, cam locks in to the uh, device. If I cut it below there, then I'd have to re-glue that. So what I want to try to do is cut it above it here. So that's what I'm going to try to do, I think. I have a feeling it's got um, I'm trying to free up this button there it goes and inside it looks like uh, just a couple of batteries let's see I've got a my voltmeter here, I'm going to measure the batteries. I'm going to first check the, the old batteries that I removed. Take a look at those. They're a good brand. These are Sony's. Let's see what we're getting here. A little less, almost a volt. Ooh, this one was good. So one cell went bad and the other one's okay. I'm gonna replace them both, I think. They're supposed to be like three, three something volts. Put those away. So we've got one here. This is an Energizer brand. Let's see what we can get on this one. 3.3. Also an energizer. Three point three two. Cool. Those are good. So now I'm gonna load them back into this uh, case here. Let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little better. There you go. So I'm going to load one in there. And then 
put the other one in there and then this button goes in and I guess what I want to make sure I don't do is short this uh, surface to that the metal And so there it is. A little tricky. I think what I might do here, let me look at this. The button just contacts this middle surface here. So I really want to try to trim it away. I can see it's spring loaded. So what I'd like to do is trim that away on the opposing sides. I'll use the button part, but I'm going to trim away this just so that it won't uh, it'll have less chance of uh, shorting out. So what I decided to do is use some silicone adhesive here and I want to glue this button here into the bottom of this once I have it put in and so in the future then I, when I remove uh, the batteries to replace them the button will actually stay inside of there and this cap will come out and I can just pop in new batteries. I'm afraid uh, this is going to rattle around and uh, maybe short out so I'm going to go ahead and, and glue it into here. And I'll let you know how that works. Got a little bit of glue there. So I'm going to put it into here. I don't want it to um, bind up the, the spring mechanism here. I just want it to go around and retain it. And so when I install the button, hold it upside down here. There's a uh, arrow where it goes. Install it just like that. And we're going to go ahead and lock it. So now it's in there and it should be on. You haven't seen it flash. So once that adhesive dries, like maybe in a day or two, I can pop that open and make sure that uh, the button's going to stay. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with your projects.